Hey guys, how's it going? Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles has been out for a week at this point, and it's a decent game, unless you're on PS4. But before I get into that, please consider slaying that subscribe button like the demon it is. It helps the channel out and lets you know when I upload new content. Also, this video will contain gameplay from the story mode, so minor spoiler warning. Now back to the video. So as I was saying, this game has its problems, so you have to put up with a lot of stuff. Like unbalanced characters, <clears throat> Rengoku. Some sections of story mode being painfully slow, like the section from chapter 4. In this section, you play as Zenitsu going up Mount Notagumo. Now, Zenitsu is already the slowest character to play as in story mode, but just to make it a little bit worse, they add these parts, which make it so while going up the mountain, Zenitsu gets scared, which is cool because that's something that Zenitsu would do, but Jesus Christ, this part is painfully slow. I'd arguably say it's the slowest section in the whole story mode. But yeah, every game has its little flaws here and there, and it's manageable. Unless you're on PS4. There are two main issues I found. The first one is more annoying than anything, but should definitely be fixed. And the second one is so bad that it's made me consider dropping the game at least three times this week. The first issue is with Slayer IDs. So just under rankings in the online section, you have Slayer IDs. And in this, you can change your profile, change your quote, and look at opponents you've previously fought Slayer IDs. The way this works is the game stores the last 20 opponents you fought in online Slayer IDs, so you can look through them. But once you fill this up to 20, something interesting happens. If you try to select Slayer IDs after fighting more than 20 people, the game just straight up crashes. Originally, I thought this was a one-time thing, but no. It happens literally every time you try to select the other Slayer IDs. The one before you select online works completely fine and doesn't crash or anything, but the other one crashes 100% of the time. My guess is that after doing your 20th match, the game can't store the opponent's Slayer IDs, but you still do in the matches. So when you select Slayer ID, the game doesn't know what to do because it can't show you the updated profiles, so it crashes. But hey, this should get fixed in the future. And the second issue is more frustrating than anything. It's more frustrating than the Shinso Infinite from One's Justice 2, and only affects PS4 players. It's input delay. Doesn't matter if you're online, offline, the input delay is always there. And it's especially worse in online, since you have to deal with the usual delay. But add the PS4 delay onto it, and it is truly the most rage-inducing thing you will ever experience. I've lost so many matches to input delay, that I'm not doing ranked until the problem gets fixed. It's so disheartening knowing that you've spent days labbing and learning combos, just to lose because you couldn't guard or dodge in time. And then every so often, you'll get someone with trash connection, Nothing is more painful than this, trust me. The input delay also affects story mode too, which can get annoying, but it's playable. The only time I found it to be a problem was in chapter 6 with the mini games, like blowing into the gold and the cup one. It's not impossible, but it makes it a lot harder to get the S rank on these missions. Now, I've heard from several places that CyberConnect2 are working on a fix for this, but I haven't seen them themselves confirm this. It worries me considering how long we had to wait for Storm 4 to get fixed, and to this day, that game still has its issues, but hopefully CyberConnect 2 will be able to fix this, and make the Hinokami Chronicles on PS4 just as good as it is on every other console. That's it for me guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.